as we move out of our 40s and 50s and 60s and beyond, the battle of the bulge is well known to all of us, both men and women. Now, what's sometimes puzzling is that even fit people can grow a belly despite the fact that they may have visible abs and can only pinch an inch or less of fat on the surface. In this video, you're going to learn six things that you can do to reduce the stress hormone cortisol and reduce belly fat. Now, it's important to recognize that there are two major categories of stored fat in the body. For purposes of our discussion here, we're going to label those subcutaneous fat and visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat that is stored right underneath the skin, and this is the fat later that you can actually pinch. Visceral fat, on the other hand, is stored inside your abdomen, and it's also called intra-abdominal fat, and it's stored around the internal organs, and having some is necessary to protect and insulate those organs, but as it increases beyond healthy levels, it can make your waistline grow. So you can guess which one of these two types of fat is the most dangerous to your health. If you said visceral fat, you're right. Too much visceral fat releases inflammatory compounds called cytokines. The more visceral fat that you carry, the higher the inflammation in your body, and that's not good. Inflammation has been labeled the foundation of disease, and rightly so. Inflammation swells the walls of your arteries and your lung tissue, and it creates an environment that is favorable to cancer. Now, visceral fat levels increase when you have excess calories in your diet or just from sitting around uh, and not getting enough exercise. But outside of diet, studies have shown that higher cortisol levels increase visceral belly fat levels. That's a key concept. Cortisol is the stress hormone that increases fat storage, increases blood sugar levels, and decreases cognitive function. So you can actually stress yourself into increasing belly fat. So how can you reduce visceral belly fat and how can you control cortisol levels? Here's six things that you can do. First, exercise and work out. And remember that any exercise is better than no exercise. Resistance exercise with weights is the best way to build muscle, lower blood sugar levels, lower cortisol levels, and lower visceral fat levels. Exercise is perhaps the best and fastest way to burn off cortisol levels. Second, proper nutrition is key. Stay lean, eat small frequent meals through the day, and watch those simple carbs. Avoid simple carbs and focus on high protein foods. Third, be careful with stimulants, whether they come from energy drinks or coffee. Caffeine increases the stress response and cortisol levels. Now, that may not be a bad thing before a workout, but again, during the day, higher cortisol levels are something to be avoided. You may want to try black tea instead of coffee as it results in lower cortisol levels. Fourth thing, sleep. And I don't think that people think enough about this, you know, because sleep is the best way to recover, to grow, to replenish your body and your mind. And too little sleep or interrupted sleep can actually lead to an increased cortisol level and increased belly fat. Eight hours of uninterrupted sleep should be your minimum target. Number five, consider supplements to help control cortisol levels. Cortisol metabolism is positively impacted by supplements such as vitamin C and phosphatidylserine and whey protein. Scientists believe that whey protein increases serotonin and tryptophan levels in the brain, which counteracts those stress hormones. Number six, manage your lifestyle to control stress. Big surprise, right? Back away from the electronics the last few hours before bedtime. Use relaxing background uh, nature sounds or music to reduce stress and limit alcohol, which can impair your sleep quality. Finally, take a breath and relax. Don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff. There you have it. Those are some things that you can do right away to start controlling cortisol and belly fat. I'm Lee Labrada, your lean body coach. Stay motivated, get up and look up. Thank you